Today we're testing out five of the most popular premium balls on the market, specifically the firmer and higher launching versions. We're going to test them out with TrackMan and see how they perform. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the tour van today. And usually we do golf club reviews and testing. Today we've got golf balls. Um, five of the most popular premium offerings out in the market here for 2021. We're gonna test them, you hit some wedges, hit maybe a seven iron and then hit some drivers. And we're gonna look at spin, we're gonna look at feel, and we're also gonna look at performance on TrackMan. So Thomas, uh, golf ball fitting, also a, uh, an offering here at Second Swing along with your standard tour van fittings. Uh, and a very key component. A lot of golfers maybe uh, kind of pass over that. Don't really, I know the big thing that you always stress is playing the same golf ball every time. Uh, so really how important is playing the right golf ball for a golfer? I mean, you said it right there. Once you find a golf ball that's working for you, play that same golf ball every single time. For consistency purposes, we don't want the ball to be rolling out further on the green. We want to have nice consistency every single time. So once you find the golf ball that works for you, absolutely play that exact same golf ball. But Fitting for the golf ball for sure is very, very important because there are golf balls that do spin more, feel firmer, feel softer, have higher ball speeds for faster swing sweep golfers or better results for slower swing sweep golfers. Mm -hmm. So make sure you work with a club fitter to figure out which golf ball you should be playing. And so today we've got five golf balls, kind of the firmer or higher launching versions of kind of each of these manufacturers premium offering. So for example, in my hand, I've got Shrixon Z-Star XV and Titleist Pro V1X. And then Thomas has TaylorMade TP5X, Callaway ChromeSoft X, and the Bridgestone Tour BX. So um, each of those are going to be fit for maybe a higher swing speed player. Uh, but of course, as we always say, it is player dependent. And when you come into second swing, trading your clubs and upgrade with uh, a tour van fitting here, a, a golf ball fitting is also one of the options that you can take advantage of to make sure all of your equipment is set up for your game. So uh, Thomas, I think I'm gonna hit the shots today. Uh, so that'll be a little bit different for the viewers out there, but um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, you ready to do this? Yeah, for today's test, we're gonna get you to hit some wedge shots from about 100 yards, and then we'll get to see you hit some bombs as well and see which nice. ball's giving us the fastest ball speed and going a little bit further. Uh, when you were initially warming up there, we noticed just a little bit of difference in feel with the, with the seven iron as you're kind of warming up. Did you, what could you maybe be the quick takeaway right off the bat with regards to maybe the softest feeling golf ball and the firmest feeling golf ball? Yeah, so I did notice kind of quickly there was, the firmest was the TP5X for me. Um, I knew that was on that end of the spectrum. I just felt it, even when I, when I hit it good, there was still some solid feedback there. And um, meanwhile, the softer one for me was the Bridgestone Tour BX. So, um, those are kind of the quick takeaways on feel, and that's you know how I felt it, right? And it might be different for golfers out there, but that was my initial takeaway on the feel aspect. Yeah, so that'll be interesting to see if that stays true when we hit some wedge shots mm -hmm. and we hit some drives. So let's hit some shots. All right, I'm ready. Okay, Drew, you have your 58 degree wedge. Let's try and hit some shots with the same club speed where you hit it around about 100 yards with Kay. each golf ball. So let's first start with the Pro V1X. Okay. All right, Drew, we did a pretty good job there with the average carry distance at 99.7. So we recently did some wedge testing with you, and we found out that you're best from 100 yards. So mm -hmm. this would be a good test for you to hit some shots. Your club speed was basically about 80 miles an hour when you're, hit, when you're hitting the, these, these balls. Spin rate was around about 10,500 on average. Now this is a couple, a little bit mm -hmm. higher, a couple a little lower little bit to do with maybe tugging the ball a little bit, leaving the face a little bit open, not quite hitting them as solid a couple yeah. of times. But how did the probably one X feel? Yeah, it was, I think, you know, in the spectrum, I think it's probably in the mid range now. I'll hit the rest of them here to, to find out. But um, there was a couple on the, I hit maybe on the toe, I think. So I had the tugged one and then there was one on the toe, I believe that was probably that other lower spin one that you know, there was a lot of feedback on. So we'll see if there's, maybe I'll hit a couple on the toe with these other golf balls and see how that uh, changes things. All right, well let's hit next, let's hit the Tour BX. <laughs> so 
So really interesting here, Drew, the last two shots, I've just kind of grayed them out. Notice you got them a little bit thin, mm -hmm. so notice your efficiency rate dropped a little bit. So that's a little more user error, but notice the spin rate. Notice the spin rate was kind of significantly higher there. Yeah. About 13, sorry, about 1130 versus 10,500. So a bit more spin there with the Tor BX. Mm -hmm. uh, how did the Tor BX feel? Um, I mean, it's a solid shots. I had a couple thinner at the end, but the solid shots was much softer okay. um, than the Pro V1X, which um, interesting. I think I like that on a wedge shot for sure, uh, preferred to the, the firmer feel. Yeah, I was definitely surprised that the spin rate was definitely a little bit higher. And yes, you catch a little thin, the spin rate is maybe going to go a little higher, but pretty consistent there. You're mm -hmm. kind of right around about 11,000. I mean, you had a couple there that were a little bit higher, but definitely more spin. The highest spin you got with the Pro V1X was like, basically 11,000. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that even your average was higher with the Tor B than the highest spin with the Tor Pro V1X. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, next up, let's hit the, uh, let's go the Srixon Z-Star XV. All right, so this one wasn't quite spinning as much. There was one here that you kind of jumped on. We'll notice your, your mm -hmm. club speed jumped a little bit more. Notice the spin rate was a little bit higher, but notice how it actually wasn't really any higher than what the, the Tor BX was mm -hmm. on average there too. So you take that one out, uh, we'll notice the spin rate pretty similar to the Pro V1X. Yeah. Um, how did the Z-Star XV feel? I think it was a little bit firmer than the Pro V1X. And then, so of the three, that's the firmest one so far, I think. Okay. Um, and then Tour BX is still the softest. Still the softest? All right, so let's go with a, another, what's considered a softer golf ball, the Chrome Soft X. So with the Chrome Soft X, you had one here, you got a little bit thin, so notice that smash factor number, efficiency you dropped. So I'm gonna take that one out. Um, so we'll notice about, 11,300 spin, uh, kind of similar to the Tor BX uh, with regards to spin there. How did the Chrome Soft X feel? That was pretty soft. Um, I think it's comparable to Tour BX. I still give, I think it's Tour BX is a little softer, but the Chrome Soft X is I think right there. Okay. Let's finish up with the TP5X. So I know when you were warming up hitting some mm -hmm. seven irons, you felt like it felt a little firmer. So yeah. kind of gone from some softer golf balls. We'll see if we can notice a difference. Okay. How did the TP5X feel? Uh, it was the firmest, for sure. Uh, and I think you, you even commented, you know, the sound. You could definitely tell a difference in sound compared to the other four. Perhaps even like a maybe clicky uh, noise to it. Yeah, it definitely, you could definitely notice it, it sounded firmer. Now, if a golfer is looking for a golf ball that feels a little firmer, it's gonna be a great option. Yeah. I know TaylorMade for sure is performing really well in the, in the golf ball category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, again, that's up to the player. I mean, sound and feel is all player dependent. So, I mean, if you're looking for a firm golf ball with uh, some good solid feedback to it, you know, TP5X is going to be the one, at least for the wedges here. Uh, yeah. Because I, I kind of thought the first shot was different noise. I thought oh, it might be just the way I hit the ball or something, but it continued for all five shots. One thing that stood out to me was spin consistency. So I noticed here, you now these are all five shots, plus or minus 147 spin consistency. That definitely stands out. It's a little bit higher than a couple of the others were. Mm -hmm. um, let's take a look at the wedge numbers really quickly. I want to take out just that one, uh, one you pulled here with the Pro V1X. I think it was, let's see which one that was. There's one that you kind of tugged over here to the left yep. side, just to kind of take out kind of that outlier there. Okay. And now let's kind of talk about the numbers with the uh, all the, all the balls here, so notice your club speed, basically 80 miles an hour, that's excellent. So this would be kind of a good test comparing the, the balls. Ball speed is not, not really anything in it with the wedges, you'll notice your ball speed's basically 84 miles an hour. I'm more focused on the, uh, the spin rate um, as we're testing these. So you notice there's some, uh, some differences in spin. So we'll notice the two softer feeling golf balls to you actually spun a little more. So you got the mm. Bridgestone Tor BX at about 11,300 to 400 with the Tor BX and the Chrome Soft X. 
And also Pro V was just a little bit less on, on the spin rate there at about 10,400. And then you've got the others kind of in, in between. But mm -hmm. for me, what stood out, TP5X, spin consistency. I know it's only a sample size of five shots, but there were a couple other balls that I actually took out a couple of miss hits. Right. These were all five shots with the TP5X. So that stands out to me. They had the highest sample size, but also had the best spin consistency. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, overall, I think, you know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at, you know, how consistent the, the TaylorMade was. Um, but then I think maybe there's that trend there of a softer feeling can relate to just a little bit more spin. Um, at least we saw that with Tour BX and Chrome Soft X. Yeah, I mean, I did actually take out a couple of those ones that you didn't quite catch with the Pro B1X. No, it's a spin consistency, but keep in mind that's three balls right. versus five balls um, that you can kind of notice there. Generally seeing Tor BX, Chrome Soft X spinning just a little bit more, um, while the others were just spinning just a little bit less there, uh, the more maybe firmer golf balls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Well, now with driver is where we can see some differences too. Um, so I'm curious. I'm going to hit some bombs, and uh, we'll see if there's any major spin differences there and also feel. All right, well, let's do some drivers. Mm. Uh, Drew, those are very, very consistent golf swings there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're not the most uh, pretty thing yeah. to look at. You have one here that was maybe more of, a, of an outlier. I think that was your first shot that you hit. Yeah. Yeah, we take that one out. But we can kind of notice generally here we're swinging about 111 miles an hour. So if you could do that for... When we're hitting these other balls, that would be uh, that would be really <laughs> good. Um, notice, yeah, because you are hitting the ball a little bit on on the toe side. Um, the ball is going to spin a little bit, a little bit less. So we're, we're kind of in that same same area. Um, yeah. That's always going to cause that spin rate to be lower. Right. Um, but um, generally speaking, you're going to get a little bit more spin out of these balls as well. So if you were playing a low spin golf ball and catching on the toe. It could definitely be yeah, kind of trouble be, there too. That'd be problematic for yep. me. Okay. Okay, Drew, we've hit five shots with the Z Star XV. Notice still a little bit on, on the on the toe side if we're gonna compare numbers. Maybe not quite as far out on the toe. Um, so you would expect maybe a little bit more spin uh, based on on that hit location. You did get a little bit more spin. So when you're hitting the TP5X, it was you know significantly kind of lower. Yep. I do want to bring up one shot here though. You did actually hit that duck hook with. Oh yeah. Um, and that was this one here. Notice the spin rate was actually still fairly high. Uh, if we look and see where you hit that one on the face there, it's a little bit close to the middle. So that's why the spin rate was kind of a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. But even still a little bit on, on, the, on the toe side, um, even still being on, on the toe side, you'll notice mm -hmm. You know, spin rate. This one was actually the lowest spin that you actually had there. That was this shot here, um, with the spin rate being about 1,900, still higher than what you were getting with the uh, TP5X. So mm -hmm. we could probably say that the Z-Star does XV spins just a little bit more than, TP, than okay. the um, TP5X. But keep in mind, it's a small sample size, yeah. and also hit location is going to make a influence on that as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. So Drew, the last two shots you hit there were pretty solid. Notice the, uh, the ball speed there a little bit higher, 170.1. Uh, you had one at 170.0 with the TP5X there. Um, yeah, so pretty kind of interesting, maybe a little bit higher on those ones that you hit a little more solid, a little mm -hmm. bit lower, ones you didn't quite catch as, as solid. Notice the spin rate again. We're gonna can maybe compare the three of them right off the bat here. You can see spin rate just a little bit lower with the Chrome Soft X than the Z Star XV, and then the TP5 X is still just slightly lower. Yeah, I was there was a couple with the Chrome Soft X. I was surprised at the low spin because considering I hit you know the last two really good, and their spin was still kind of sub 2,000. So interesting there. All right, uh, what's next? What do we got left? We got the tight. Uh, we got the Bridgestone Tour BX. All right. You had this one here that was a little bit kind of more of an outlier. Uh, notice the ball speed there was a little bit lower, so let's kind of take that one out. So yeah, if we look at the Tor BX here, we'll notice ball speed just got a little bit higher. That efficiency there is kind of Im impressive. One five one 
is kind of pretty interesting. Normally, if you get a little high toll, you can get a yeah. more efficiency there. Spin rate around about 2,000, um, going about 312. So kind of interesting there. Pretty pretty strong numbers there for the, the Tor BX, actually. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, and it felt it, there was a little bit of that, that softer feel, too. Um, it's like a little bit less feedback or kind of vibration in the hand when I would miss it, for example. So kudos to Bridgestone there for that one. Yeah, they performed pretty well in this test. Um, fin finishing up here, we've got the Titleist Pro V1X to finish with. Okay. All right, so let's, let's first just kind of take a look here, because as I mentioned, hit location for sure is going to kind of influence um, some of these numbers. So let's just kind of see where we're, where we're at overall. So notice slightly on the, on the toe side, slightly on the toe side, slightly on the toe side, slightly on the toe side, and slightly on the toe side. So generally speaking, we're, we're testing hitting the same place yeah. on the club face. And our club speed is, generally speaking, pretty close here. We can see one, uh, yeah, you're at uh, between 111 and 112. So it's, it's, a, it's a good comparison. Keep in mind, um, it's a smaller sample size, yeah. but it's going to kind of showcase some kind of differences here in, in ball speed and spin. So first off, look at ball speed. Uh, Tor BX, highest ball speed there. Um, if you look at efficiency rating, that's also kind of important because you did swing a little bit faster with the Tor BX yeah. there. Um, spin rate was right around 2,000, 312. Nice, nice distance there. I think that was the furthest one that you hit there as well. Chrome Soft X, coming back to, to ball speed, we'll notice Z Star XV, probably one X, pretty good there on, on the ball speed. Chrome Soft X and TP5X were just kind of a, a little bit slower with the, the ball speed and also the efficiency rating there as well. So kind of interesting there. Maybe the fastest three were for you when you were hitting today. Um, Tor BX, Z Star XV, and probably one X. Uh, the other two are just a little bit mm -hmm. slower. Uh, if you look at spin, spin rate, you can see that the TP5X had the lowest amount of spin and it was actually kind of consistently kind of low on, on the spin rate there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that one felt the firmest to you. Was that yeah. still feel the, case, feel the ca same case with the uh, driver? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I, I think there's maybe notice less of a difference with driver when you're, you know, swinging that harder with a different club. But um, I do, I did notice it was just a bit firmer. Yep. And then if we uh, kind of look at the others here, the other end of the spectrum, we've got the pro, uh, at the other end of the spectrum, we've got the Z-Star XV. 2270 and the Tor BX, a little bit more spin at, at 2000 spin. Um, it's kind of interesting, those ones are flying a little higher as well. Uh, that could also be you just leaving the club face yeah. a little more open on that on that test. And the TP5X a little bit lower, could be you just catching a little more yeah. toe side, a little lower on, on the face. So that's why I said, it's, it's hard to really kind of test because not every swing is going to be the, the exact same. We can talk about kind of general trends and also what the manufacturers will explain with regards to these golf balls. So, but right. yeah, you kind of see differences there for you. I would recommend, you know, Tor BX. I mean, it was, it was flying a little higher. It was going a little further overall. Spin rate around 2000 is pretty good. And it was giving you your highest ball speed. So that's kind of interesting mm -hmm. to kind of see. And we also had Chrome Soft X and Pro V1X up there with regards to total distance. Yeah, and I also, we noticed the Tor BX had the, at least on the wedge shots for sure, the softest feel, which um, I know I prefer on the short game, so it kind of was the quote unquote winner for the short game feel, and then to see that it was the you know for the long game had my farthest shots as well. I think for me, Tour BX might be the ball. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good comparison comparing different golf balls. Um, at second swing, what we do is we do do a golf ball fitting, and um, we'll compare based on what we're seeing with general trends for players. If a player needs more spin we'll fit them into a golf ball that needs, that's going to give them more spin. If they need more, need more height, we're going to fit them into a golf ball that's going to fly a little higher. If they need less height and less spin. There's other golf balls out there. Mm -hmm. um, and even like Titleist, for example, they do a good job to explain the differences. Just thinking like uh, Pro V1X, Pro V1, and AVX. Mm -hmm. Those are three completely different golf balls. Right. The X is always going to fly a little higher. The AVX is always going to fly a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. So there is a big difference in the left lift and drag, the way the golf balls are designed. Right, and for, as you can see, for someone like me, at least with long game, I 
with the driver. I probably need a little bit more height, a little bit more spin. And the, the Tour BX was giving me among the highest ball flights and then the spin as well. I think it was right up there, so. Yeah, interesting test. Uh, golf ball testing, as I mentioned, can be, you know, a little more challenging because it's a, a human that's hit, hitting the golf shots. Keep in mind, feel is also very important. Yeah. And also what you're going to get with regards to reaction on the greens. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Well, this was very informative. Uh, Thomas, thanks for showing me everything here and um, breaking down all the information for me. Uh, just a reminder again for golfers out there, uh, come in for a tour van fitting and then of course get a ball fitting as well. Make sure every part of your equipment is dialed in for your game.